$5.99 guys. Just a little bit similar. Oh my god. Oh, there's no drink of water left. Never mind. Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Your girl's back. And this in Aldi is the Desert Rain Palette. It comes in a box like this. This is $5.99 guys, $5.99. I'm sorry. This is my Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. Just a little bit similar, hmm, maybe. I'm gonna be swatching now for you guys to see the actual difference in between swatches and stuff. Um, but I have done this eye makeup today. One side is Aldi, one side is Anastasia, Beverly Hills. Which side do you think it is? Stop this video now and comment below. So I'm back with the swatches on my hand. I'm not the best with swatches, but these are the swatches. This is the ABH one, and then this is the Aldi one. Desert Rain and Soft Glam. I've tried to swatch from the same like kind of row. The bronze one you can just see in the middle there. This one, the ABH one, is more intense. It's more metallic, as long as the as well as the pink ones there. Um, and then the black is a little bit darker, and the burgundy colour is slight touch darker there. Can you just see the difference? So yeah, not much difference. A little bit with the shimmers, and I think the bronze one's the most like different. Like the bronze out of the soft glam is just my baby. It's six pounds, and it, it literally looks the same, other than like the packaging colours kind of thing. So I'm gonna get straight into our makeup now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna do the I'll do one on this side and then the soft glam on this side. So I'm gonna go in the Aldi Desert Rain Palette, I love that name, in Sahara, which is that one right there. I think, oh my God, the formula is almost the same. Like dipping it in and you know, you, 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 I'm getting the same kickback, the same pigmentation. That is the pigmentation off the Aldi one. Wow. So, oh. I'm just so excited, oh my god. I might have to pick another one of these up guys. I might have to pick another one up because have you seen that pigmentation? I'll have to look at the ingredients after. That is, oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. I've hardly even blended it out as well. I'm so impressed already. You might not be able to tell like as I'm blending it but it's in person I'm just like wow this is just very easy to work with. This is a MAC 217 brush. I'm getting a clean brush and then this side I'm going to use the colour Rustic which is the same kind of colour. They're putting in the same order and everything so we'll use Rustic on this side. Rustic is a little bit darker already. Um, and it's not blending out as nice. Maybe it's because it's old though this palette. This is £46 now this palette guys. And this is six pounds. Save you 40 pounds and go into Aldi and get this already. Like I'm already loving it already. So I'm just blending it out the same way. Like I said, this colour is a little bit more deeper. I've used the same eye base as well, guys, just for reference. I've used the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in C8. I feel like I have to blend this out one a little bit more. You can see what I mean. I'm gonna have to blend that out a little bit more. I'm not coming for Anastasia whatsoever though, I love their eyeshadows and stuff. To show you, the fallout, the kind of kickback, is the same. Maybe a caramel and a mixture of sand, those two like matte colours there. I think I'm going to go with, oh it's camel, sorry. Cam camel. Camel. And I'm just going to go a little bit higher, just to blend out that edge. You know the drill guys. Oh my god, just so softly pressed but they don't blend away. They're just so, I can feel the creaminess on my eye. That sounds so weird, but I can literally feel the creaminess of the eyeshadow on my eyes, it's blended. It's blended in really nice. If you can hear my parents downstairs, I am very sorry. I've just got a loud family. Um, uh, yeah, I have to deal with it. <laughs> they argue 24 seven, like I'm not even joking. Like, we, like they're, they're constantly arguing over, over stupid little things. My family just kick off about it. <laughs> And just go back and forth over it. So my mum's just come upstairs and they're basically kicking off a bag of chocolate. <laughs> She's like, have you ever had bags of chocolate? So I'm like, mum, no, I haven't. And then we're going to go in with burnt orange, which is, well, that was the dupe of that colour. So burnt orange. So I'm just blending that out. And then we're going to make that winged out shape. But to be fair, that side was so easy to like wing out a little bit more. Let's see if this one's a bit harder to do it with. 
I do love the colour burnt orange though. Like, look at that colour. It's beautiful. So I'm just going in the circular shape first, then we've got less on the brush, just buff it out again. I mean, this palette is, I think it's like two years old now or something. It must be. When did they come out with the sock one? I can't even remember. It must be two years old, this sock one palette by Anastasia. I'll take the colour Mir Mirage out of this palette, the Aldi palette, with a flat brush. And I'm just going to literally just pop it on the lid. It looks a little bit lighter on camera, but it's like a really nice, like, pale gold. Oh, it's coming up a little bit more now on camera. That is such a lovely, shimmery colour. And the colour out of this one that duped was the colour Fairy. So, it's the exact same area in the same palette kind of thing. This is the Anastasia side. And, again, I think this one's a tiny bit deeper, but very close. Very close. Now we're going to go in with a black from this palette, which is called Night Sky. Again, the Aldi palette. Oh, I didn't use the brush. I was supposed to use the brush. I'll use the brush underneath my eye. Such a good brush compared to that one. This is the Anastasia one. That's the Aldi one. I couldn't talk then. If this black is creamy, it's going to do it for me. I'm like, mmm. Hmm. Let's have a look. I don't think it's as dark the other side. I think it is black, it's dark, but I don't think it is as dark as the other side. I'm gonna go in with this colour Sahara. Let's go on top of that a little bit and blending that out. And then I'm gonna take the black from the Anastasia palette which is called No 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 or No. I don't know. This black is better. I'm not gonna lie. I don't see that. that. That one's not horrible, but it's not as creamy as this one. But <laughs> for 40 extra pounds, <laughs> are you going to buy it just for the black? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I'm just going to go right on top. Just do the same thing. Same techniques, same brushes. Well, same brushes, but this one's a clean one from this side. And I'm just going to buff it back on top. I mean, to be honest with you guys, this palette is like, right, I'm going to put the eye primer underneath my eye now. So I'm using that underneath the eye just to prep the eyes underneath. Lovely. And then I'm going to take the black from the palette, the Aldi palette, and just slowly connect that there. Just as close to the lash line as you can get. And then I'm going to take, I want to take, um, oh, I'm going to take a pencil brush. I'm going to use the colour, oh my god, what the bloody hell was that? The colour Sahara, which is that one, Sahara. Put the colour Sahara on a pencil brush and just buff it back and forth underneath. Take the actual blending brush from the palette. I'm going to take the colour Camel, which is that one. And just see how, the, oh my god, that's actually quite sturdy, that brush. Yeah, I think it might work actually better underneath the eye. I'm going to take that brush and just buff it back and forth. Just to really blend it and connect it to our outer corner. Then I'm going to take the Anastasia Black and do the same thing on this side. Probably put a tiny bit less on though because this one's stronger. So this side might look a tiny bit darker because the black was darker. Take the brush from the Anastasia palette with a colour burnt orange. Burnt orange is just one of my favourite from Anastasia's like eyeshadow collection. Like I just love burnt orange. I've got a single of it. I used to buy singles. I feel like that's a not a thing anymore to buy eyeshadow singles. You just buy a palette now. So I'm gonna pop some lashes on, finish the look off to my skin, and tell you my final thoughts. Just pops this liquid lip on called Vampira Vampira by KVD Beauty. I was gifted this. Oh. It's like a burgundy with a hint of purple, and I'm really digging it. And it makes my teeth look lighter as well. The palettes. I haven't tried every single colour, but for first impressions, I would just say it's as good as the Soft Glam, and you're saving £40. I'm pretty sure when I bought this it was 40 or 39 but obviously two years gone by. Prices go up, that kind of thing. Um, this is £6. If you find this, it comes in this box here 
They have two of as well. They have the Modern Renaissance dupe and then the Norbina palette dupe. This is my favourite Anastasia palette. Do you know what? If <laughs> Try this first because if you don't like this then obviously you can get this for Christmas because Christmas is coming up soon but £6. It's got this similar like velvety feel to it. It's got a really nice brush in it. Um, oh my god, I even took the like thing off. Let me take it off. So satisfying. Really, really good. I mean, look at them. I need to put them side by side again. That looks insane, doesn't it? Like, they look so similar. But I want to see it, like, looking at the ingredients. You can see it on the palette there. Does it say ingredients on here? It doesn't say ingredients on the back, like the Anastasia one. Like, the Anastasia's ingredients is very long, unless it's just, like, in different countries languages that's what I meant to say the ingredients list is it looks very long compared to this one the ingredients list on this one is here a lot shorter so you've got a lot less product um ingredients kind of thing going into this than this so it'll probably be better for me personally because I feel like the, the less ingredients the better it is maybe could be wrong but mmm I am just <laughs> blown away i can't describe to you the formula of it is just like like i would definitely say this one is actually better than the makeup revolution dupe and that was my most popular video on youtube so the fact that that's better and this video won't probably get as many views annoys me because i'm like get this if you go to alda please look for this so i hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video i'm actually blown away by that palette what do you think which side do you prefer like the anastasia one or do you like the Aldi liqueur, like I don't know how to say it still. You know what I mean, the Aldi one, as I say that. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you're going to be picking it up from Aldi if you see it, let me know if you do. Comments below, and I shall see you guys in my next one. Don't forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Thank you, Lord, for all you do for me, for all you've done for me, for how you love me.